Let's just cut to the brass tacks of things, all right? You guys both are on the cusp of getting big, big fights. This fight can define what happens to you guys right now. Yeah, for sure. It's, um, it's, it's very defining for the both of us. You know, I'm, I'm moving up, and he's, he's not exactly moving up anymore. You know, he, he's, hit his, he's hit his peak with uh, Klitschko and then with uh, Adam Eck and whatever, he's, he, and he's going downhill. I'm using him as a, as a, as a building block for my, uh, for my own. Okay, devil's advocate here. He's reached a peak. He got to that Klitschko fight. Sometimes it makes people more hungry, more determined. You haven't gotten there yet. That makes you more hungry. I mean, it's a balance on that. It's definitely a balance, you know. And there's there's more than one way to look at it. You know, you could he could he could look at it, or I could look at it like he's been training, like it's you know do or die for him, or 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 I can train like he's uh, like what he could have been doing. You know, just overlooking me. None of us can predict the future. We're not clairvoyant. If you had to predict what's going to happen tomorrow night on ESPN, what would you say? I'm going to win, and I'm going to win early before the tenth round. I'm not going to say it's going to be a you know first round, second round knockout, but I'm going to I'm going to definitely stop the fight early.